United kick off, attacking the goal to our right. They're in the white shorts. Cold afternoon with a fairly brisk breeze. Willie Carr for Coventry, Gould's header, but Hibbit beaten by Greenough. Daly, Daly on each side, this is Jerry Daly. Gordon Hill on for Houston. Back in again by Hill. Buchan coming for it, and he is beaten. Kinden on for Richards. Gould calling for it wide on the left, and it's going to run for him. Bobby Gould didn't get the ball he wanted. He was calling for a long one because he had a lot of space wide on the left. In the end, he had to go chasing one that wasn't hard hit enough, struck his shot under pressure and put it over. Buchan. Daly. Good break by Jerry Daly. Oh, beautifully done. Marvellous run by Jerry Daly. Taking on men, showing them the ball, slipping it away from them, dipping the shoulder and going past. Saved in the end by Parks, but fine play by Jerry Daly. McElroy with the corner. Parks catching under pressure. Unfair pressure, says Mr. Partridge, and it's a free kick. McElroy chasing it, Sunderland with it. McElroy again, dumped by Sunderland, and it's a free kick. Hard free kick comes to Pearson, off the bar! Play on, says the referee, although Manchester United looked for a moment wondering whether that had gone in. Clever little flick by Pearson as the ball was whacked into the middle there and Fox must have been delighted to drop on it. Stuart Houston. Pearson, McElroy. Jerry Daly on the run through the middle. Topple was wide, but the interception was fairly easy for Barkin, who then lost it to Topple. And now Buchan starts it again for United. Ball for Hill. And a good cross! Very nearly worked for Pearson. A great ball from Buchan. Dropped beautifully for Gordon Hill, who hit it first time across, and it missed Pearson's toe cap by a matter of inches. Richards. A lot of the time, Wolves coming away well in midfield and then losing their impetus. Jerry Daly in another good position, and some fine control. Now Makari, good goalkeeping by Parks, who was lost. Jerry Daly had stolen through there into a very good position, hooked the ball down brilliantly. When he couldn't score, Makari came in, but Parks was able to block. Kinden, helping it on for Richards. This is the kind of break where Wolves can be dangerous. But again, the pace slows, but Richards steps it up again. Now Hibbert. And now Kinden. And stopped well by Stepney. Wolves' best move so far. Built up a bit slowly, but then coming first from Richards, then to Hibbert, then to Kinden. And the shot was well saved. Header by Daly. Greenoff. Kinden getting it to Gould. 
and Bobby Gould picks up the ball as the half-time whistle goes. A goalless first half for a game in which Wolves can thank a packed defence and indeed their crossbar from Stuart Pearson's flick. A game in which most of the traffic has been towards the Wolves' goal mouth. A lot of brilliant attacking football, an outstanding performance by Jerry Daly. And it must be said too, one very good save by Alex Stepney when Kindon got in a shot from Wolves' best and indeed almost only real attack. Welcome back then to Old Trafford, where the first half was goalless, and in fact where Wolves have played now six and three-quarter hours in the FA Cup this season without having had a goal scored against them. They kick off in this second half, attacking the goal to our right. In the third round, they beat Arsenal 3-0. Against Ipswich, they were 0-0 and 1-0 in the replay, and then they beat Charlton 3-0. And somehow or other, they've survived without a goal against them here too. 45 minutes still to go. This is Hill. This kick by Sunderland, swinging a leg a bit off balance. What a scene. It's for Hill. Steve Daly matching him that time. Hill is still after him though, and bringing down Daly. Wolves free kick. that they must seek to turn possession into something if they're to come out of this cup tie. And now Kinden turned across and in, Richards! John Richards, the danger man, always when Wolves are around, and that time a magnificent bit of finishing. The free kick looked a bit inconclusive. Kindon ran in on the wide ball and his cross was knocked in with fierce economy by John Richards. Jerry Daly. Forsyth. Pearson. Oh, what can Koppel do? He wins another corner, put out by Parkin. Derek Parkin. Now oh, 28, Derek Parkin, once upon a time, the most expensive fullback in the country. Gordon Hill to take the corner. Over it comes again, and that was Carr's header, and that's another corner. 13, unlucky for some. Little flick by Koppel didn't quite work. Jerry Daly. And Daly making a good break on the return and scoring a tremendous goal! the 13th corner that proved unlucky for Wolves. Hill took it, Daly got it back from him and strode into the box and what a fine finish to the player who has been on peak form throughout this game. McElroy. Hill's throw. Pearson, McElroy, and a good shot. That was a fine move by Manchester United. Hill's throw, Pearson turning it back, and McElroy's shot, I think, would have beaten the post, but Parks was taking no chances. Sammy McElroy to take the kick. But uh, Pat Partridge holding them up for some reason. Had a little word with Monroe there.
Sammy McElroy. Parks the catch. Wolverhampton Wanderers have got their substitute, Jeff Palmer, warming up. Forsyth. Green off. Hill. That's come nicely for Houston. Couldn't quite get it back to Hill. Steve Daly it was who got in the way. McElroy back to Hill. Sort of position from which Hill scored in the league game against Wolves here. Now he's going to look for the overhead and he did it very cleverly. But well caught by Parks. But what a cheeky little bit of skill by Gordon Hill. Back to the defender, flicking the ball up on his instep, over his head. Good save by the keeper. Daly takes the throw. Koppel can't turn Parkin, but he can get it back to Jerry Daly. Daly's centre, curling in, Pearson's head up. And the shot by McElroy, and a superb save! McElroy holds his head, he couldn't believe that it wasn't in. He hit it with the full force of his left foot, and somehow or other, Parks threw up his arms and turned it over for a corner. 18 corners now Manchester United have had. Header away by Parkin. And the whistle is gone. We've played just half a minute over the 45 and...